Hello everybody. I'm here with Buster Keaton to do an iCAD. I usually do one of him these last few years and I know he's not a scrap of paper image, although he should be. <laughs> um, I'm trying to put scrap of paper images on these, but I'm going to use scrap of paper in the background in some way. Not that way, however. I don't know. I could go, you know, the real vintage route, or we could jazz it up and do lots of bright colors and stuff. I don't know which way to go. I have shown that picture on this channel before, although it's been a long time. He's actually next to Roscoe and Al and Luke the dog. They're on the beach. It's a publicity behind the scenes type still from the movie Coney Island. Uh, yeah, what was the date on that, Diane? It's either 1917 or 1918. It was a few years ago. Okay, we don't want real busy. That is not going to fly. This is wrapping paper. It's not scrapbook paper. Nah, too, too much, I think. This is scrapbook paper. Too much, too. Okay, you weren't listening. You said not real busy. No. Doesn't match. <laughs> Don't tell me I have to go to actual papers that haven't been cut yet. No. I have film related papers. Um, let's see. They're in a box over there. Maybe. Oh, this could be cool. All right, what about the dark strip there? matches nicely. Do we want to or do we want to substitute that first one I cut? Yeah, my dog wants to come in. I thought about propping the door open, but he hasn't been out there that long. Diane, you're wrong again. Actually, that's sort of neat. Neat. Buster almost looks like he needs a border, though, doesn't he? Okay, my dog walked away. She's not going to help me. I'm leaving. Mm, no. This is cool. I should do something with that. Well, you could do that yourself old photo or even old photo off the internet and use it more like a background thing. That's kind of cool. Think I'll ever remember that? No. Anything on here? Isn't this neat? I think that's a takeoff of Norma Talmadge. Personally, that's what I think. Okay, not really. Um, I guess that's kind of it for film type stuff. No, wrong color. Okay, so what about these? 
Well, am I going to go monochromatic as I often do? Diane, you're so mono. Yeah, that's okay. You know what to do with the background, though. That you know the the background, background. That's why it's called a background. That's not bad. What would something bright and fun look like? Well, not that. It's kind of competing, isn't it? That's not too bad. Of course, I'm just going to put a dilemma, a dilemma for these holes. Do you leave them? Do you try to cut them out like a fool? Do you color them in? Uh, yeah, good question. Well, the colors like are fun. I think you could go either way with it, this. If you wanted to stay real vintage looking, I would do that. Okay, let's go for this. You know that look, anybody? In the, that'd be like the late 60s, 70, where you had really bright colors, yet you'd have maybe like an old gramophone or something in the room. We'll do that. Okay, let me pause. See if my dog wants to come in. I'll glue down these colors. I think we need a little something over here. And then we'll pick it up and see what I want to do. Okay, hang on. Okay, that's all glued down and I sewed around. So since those papers were a tad short anyway, I intentionally then trimmed them a little shorter so we could have some white. And I think that way then the white, you know, looks more intentional because there's no way I was going to cut that out. You could marker or paint in there, but I'm just going to leave it white. And speaking of white, I think we need, you can barely see it, there were little white kind of chalk circles on this paper. As you can see, I backed him. And I think we need a few more. And a very smart person in my house, and it wasn't me, Okay, my neighbor left on his motorcycle, I can continue, but suggested using a straw. And I don't know if I would have thought of that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it alone before I think it's too much. And I'd love to do another one, but I don't have time. <laughs> so short and sweet today, people. One card. Um, I think 1968 met Buster Keaton. What do you think? Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day.